Karis from Singapore, and I'm a student. So um, I did ADTY quite by chance actually. And um, after doing ADTY, I decided to come to Nepal retreat because I felt a strong calling to come here. And I've always felt very connected to this land. And I've actually traveled here uh, two years earlier and I felt there was a very good energy here. And I really wanted to come back to tap into the energy again. So about this retreat, it's been a really, really wonderful retreat. And I've learned so much more about myself during this retreat. So during this retreat, we did a lot of meditation sessions outdoors. And it was the first time in my life where I could connect so strongly with nature. And then we're doing the energy, sorry, doing the meditation outdoors. Just felt such a good energy coming from the cosmos, the universe. And I could really connect with Mother Earth. And it's something that I've never been able to do before. Because I live in a city and there's not much nature available. And it just felt so peaceful and so serene. And I felt so much clarity. And also during this retreat, I feel I've been clearing a lot of blockages. So prior to this retreat, I had quite a lot of uh, negativity going on in my life. So like I had blocked myself out from expressing a lot of my feelings. So I've never been able to say like, I love you to a person. And um, during ADTY, that's when like we were supposed to express our love for people. And it was a challenge for me, but at the last day, I managed to tell people that I love them. And when I came to Nepal, I was so surprised, like, I just started being able to express myself more. And I feel such a great freedom, freedom of expression. Because in the past, I had always tried to, like, repress my feelings. Maybe because I felt like I, I didn't honour the feelings that I was feeling, because I felt like I wasn't worthy of feeling them. But going to Nepal has made me tap into my inner self more, and I connect more with my true self. And because of that, I'm able to express myself better. And it's just been such a lovely retreat and not going to lie, there were some sessions that were pretty intense but I felt like I got a lot of clarity out of those sessions. So prior to this retreat, I was having like some difficulty connecting to my life purpose. So I actually did my diploma in chemistry and I did an internship there but I wasn't satisfied in what I was doing because I felt that there was something more. So during my internship, I was actually really miserable because it was just 9 to 5 every day, it was the same old thing. And I felt the work that I was doing was not really serving the community and wasn't serving myself. And I felt very miserable because of that. But after coming to Nepal, I have such a greater clarity on my life purpose. So I believe my life purpose is to teach and to learn in the process. And that's been something I'm trying to connect more. And I feel it's something I would definitely practice more back when I'm in Singapore. And I just, I'm really in love with this land, like Nepal, and like outside of the retreats, and that like we do like morning hikes, and that we visit the city, we visit the various landmarks. And it's just such a beautiful land, with so much culture, and this retreat has been really wonderful, and I'm really grateful I had this opportunity to come here.